Hello everyone, and welcome to an official Clip Studio Paint tutorial video. I'll be using the basic tools in Clip Studio Paint to make a drawing of a cat. Throughout the process, I'll show you the steps of painting digitally and introduce basic functions such as layers, color selection, brushes, and the eraser. This tutorial is for anyone who has just started using Clip Studio Paint or is thinking of trying out digital illustration. I'll be using this cat photo as a drawing reference, but you can apply it to any animal you like. Why not try drawing your favorite animal or your pet instead? Let's begin! First, let's create a canvas to draw on. Tap New from the command bar. Then set the use of work to illustration and enter 2000 for both the width and height. Now click OK in the upper right corner to create a square canvas. We'll begin by drawing a rough sketch based on the photo reference. For this, we'll use the pencil. Select the pencil tool from the tool palette. Then go to the Subtool palette and select the Pencil Subtool. The Pencil Subtool in Clip Studio Paint changes in size and density depending on pen pressure. You can also tilt the stylus to draw broad strokes, just like a real pencil. You can change the color of the pencil by tapping the black tile in the Color Set palette, where standard colors are registered. Sketch the general silhouette and the key parts such as the eyes, nose, and mouth while keeping the overall balance of the animal in mind. The eraser tool is located in the tool palette Select the eraser icon to use it and erase as needed. Once the approximate shapes of the body and face are created, your rough sketch is complete. Next, let's decide on the colors for the illustration. Tap the color wheel icon from the palette dock on the left to open the color wheel palette. From here, we can fine tune the hue, saturation, and value of our colors. You can paint with the same colors as in the reference photo, but this time let's try using a triadic color scheme. A triadic color scheme uses three colors equally spaced around the color wheel following an equilateral triangle pattern. Let's go with orange for the background, green for the eyes, and a blue-purple for the fur. First, let's change the color of the entire canvas to orange, our background color. Tap the layer palette icon on the palette dock. This opens the layer palette. Now, double tap the thumbnail of the paper layer to open the color settings dialog. Then tap color wheel 1. Set the hue to orange in the outer circle. Then in the center color space, select a color from the upper right so it's bright and saturated. Then tap OK in the upper right corner to change the canvas color. Now let's create some layers. When drawing digitally, separating the parts of an illustration into layers makes it easier to make adjustments and corrections later on. Press the new raster layer icon in the layer palette to create a new layer. Next, double tap the layer to rename it. Let's name it the part of the animal we are going to paint next. We'll call this layer body. Let's also rename layer one the layer with our rough sketch to Sketch. At this point, if the body layer is on top of the sketch layer, let's switch the layer order. Long press the grip on the right of the layer and drag to reorder the layers.
Now, let's choose a color for the body. Set the hue of the color wheel palette to the blue-purple color of our triadic color scheme. Choose a light color close to white from the upper left corner of the color space. This color needs to be lighter than the color we intend to use for the pattern on the fur. Next, let's choose a brush. Tap the brush tool in the tool palette and then the brush sub tool icon. The brush tool has three main groups, watercolor, thick paint, and India ink, each containing different types of sub-tools. We will use the oil paint brush from the thick paint group. This group contains brushes that can be used to blend colors. Now let's paint the cat's body. Select the body layer from the layer palette. Don't worry too much if the paint goes over the lines, just keep painting. Be sure to change the size of your brush and adjust drawing pressure to more easily fill in the shapes as you paint. You can change the brush size from the brush size palette. Use the eraser to erase any parts that go over the lines. Using a small sized eraser will make it easier to erase in fine detail. We are now left with a cute silhouette of a cat. Next, let's paint the inside of the ears. Create a layer and name it Face. Next, select a pink color from the color wheel palette by adjusting the circle to a pink hue and then selecting a bright pink color from the color space. Fill in the ears so that they form a simple triangle. After filling them in, let's now draw the fluffy fur inside the ears. Select the transparent color icon from the color icons at the bottom of the toolbar. This will allow you to draw brush strokes that erase the color like an eraser. We'll use thin lines to mimic the fur, so let's reduce the brush size from the brush size palette. Next, we'll paint the eyes, nose, and mouth. To achieve a three-dimensional look and make the features really stand out, we'll use a dark color as the base and then paint over it with lighter colors. For the base color, we'll use a dark blue-purple color that matches the color of the fur. On the color wheel palette, move the circle in the color space to the lower right. When drawing the eyes, nose, and mouth, let's use a thin brush for detail. From the Sub-Tool palette, select the Thin Gouache Brush Sub-Tool. Fill in the shape of the eyes, nose, and mouth according to the lines in the sketch. For the mouth, let's use thin lines to draw the smile line. To make detail work easier to draw, pinch out to zoom in to the canvas as needed.
we can now see the cat's face. Once the base colors for the eyes, nose, and mouth are painted, we'll set lock transparent pixels to prevent color from going outside these areas when we paint on top of them. Go to the layer palette and select the face layer. Then click on the lock transparent pixels icon at the top of the palette. Now let's draw more details on the eyes and nose. Let's select our green color from the color wheel palette. Move the circle in the color space to the upper right for a saturated color. Reduce the brush size and zoom in to paint the eyes. When painting the shape of the eyes, leave some of the dark base color around the edges as an outline. To make the eyes appear more round, we'll add a slightly darker color as a shadow. If any part extends beyond the edge of the eye, you can use your brush to add to the edge as needed. If you want to use a color that you have painted with before, such as the base color, or if you want to use a color that has been blended, long press on the canvas to pick up the color as your drawing color. After painting the eye shape, draw the pupil. In the color wheel palette, set the color to a dark green and then fill in the center of the eyes. Continue on to the nose. We'll use the same painting method as with the eyes. In the color wheel palette, choose a pink color. Zoom in to make it easier to draw the nose. Be sure to paint the shape of the nose so that the edge of the base color remains as an outline. Now that we have finished, let's hide the sketch layer and take a look at the illustration. Tap the eye icon on the left of the sketch layer to hide it. It looks like it's getting close to being finished. Now let's add highlights to the eyes and nose to create a more lifelike impression. Create a layer in the layer palette and name it Highlights. Choose the brightest white color from the upper left corner of the color wheel palette. Add highlights to the nose and eyes. For the nose highlight, think about where the nose sticks out the most and paint them there. The position of the highlights on the eyes can change the impression it gives off. If you place them slightly above the pupil, it will give the impression that the character is staring straight at you. Let's draw the pattern of the fur. Patterns are unique to each cat, so don't get too caught up on the pattern in the reference image. Instead, let's get creative and draw our own original pattern. First, select the body layer in the layer palette and set lock transparent pixels. We'll draw the pattern of the fur with the blue-purple color that we chose from the triadic color scheme. Select the brush tool and then select the oil paint subtool from the subtool palette. Use a large brush size to create thicker strands of hair and a small brush size for thinner strands of hair.
With the oil paint brush, the amount of color that is blended depends on pen pressure. Draw with light pressure to lighten the color and with heavy pressure to darken it. You can long press the canvas to pick up the color of a blended area while drawing to help create a range of tones in your illustration. Finally, let's draw the whiskers. Create a layer in the layer palette and name it Whiskers. Drag the grip on the Whiskers layer to move it to the top. Select white from the color wheel palette. Then select the thin gouache brush from the subtool palette and set the brush size to 10. You can paint beautiful, smooth, clean whiskers by making quick brush strokes. Rotate the canvas with two fingers and adjust the angle to make it easier to draw the lines of the whiskers. It may be challenging to draw dynamic lines at first. Tapping with two fingers on the canvas will undo the previous line, so you can quickly redraw them as needed. Finally, let's add our signature. And now our artwork is complete. Clip Studio Paint.